the knees in pain, but you might have feel there is grace today. Hey, hey, oh, 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 oh. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from both of Satan. Case, yes, so bring your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Walk a wine, be ya. Mutu mata so oh. Baba, ya, ya, wa. Salvation is free, don't need to pay. All the shame is in the way. Oh, oh, oh. GCK Gospel to every creature It's that time of the month again It's GCK o'clock In Mark chapter 16 verse 16 Jesus said Go ye into all the world And preach gospel to every creature we're bringing the gospel to every creature. Mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers. Jesus the Savior, there is no another. Salvation from yonder, since chains break us under. Yeah. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of your shame, you will roll away. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of your shame you will roll away. Are you bothered and you don't know what to do? And you feel like everything is wrong with you. Don't you give up when you look up. There's an answer to all your questions. We bring you the gospel, it's for every nation. Oh, Jesus. and brothers Jesus the Savior there is no another salvation from yonder since chains break us under yeah. salvation is free you don't need to pay all of your shame you will roll away oh hey Jesus salvation is free you don't need to pay all of your shame you will roll away
salvation is free. You don't need to pay for you, might have feel there is grace today. Hey, oh, 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 oh. There is healing, deliverance, freedom from both of Satan. Case, yes, so bring your case. Come on, everybody, take your place. Come and experience for me saving grace. No matter your color, no matter your race. Mama, papa, they come. Walk away, be ya. Mutu mata so o. Baba, ya ewa. Salvation is free, you don't need to pay. All of the shame you will away. Oh, oh, oh. GCK Gospel to every creature. Imagine a train filled by the Great Commission, traveling from city to city, nation to nation, with a singular purpose to reach every person with the saving gospel. This is the heart of GCK. Their reach knows no boundaries as they have already touched the lives of over 5.3 million attendees in more than 180 countries. Lives are being changed and destinies are being rewritten. Within just two years of its inception, GCK has witnessed over 500,000 conversions. Can you grasp the magnitude of that number? Each conversion represents a life that has been rescued, a soul that has found hope and purpose. But it doesn't stop there. GCK has birthed a daily program, GCK Daily, available in multiple languages, providing a continuous source of spiritual nourishment and encouragement. GCK believes in investing in the future. Through the Impact Academy, God's love and transformational power extends to children, youth, and young adults. Pastor Kumuyi, a mentor and lover of the youth, organizes a global youth convocation every year. In this gathering, he addresses the fundamental issues that affect teenagers, campus students, and young adults, providing guidance, support, and a path to a brighter future. The Crusade Weeks themselves are not just gatherings. They are transformative experiences. During these weeks, a Capacity Building Ministers Conference takes place. Here, the next generation of gospel ministers are equipped with the teachings and tools they need to spread the light of the gospel from shore to shore. It's an opportunity to empower young leaders who will carry the torch of faith into the future. The impact of GCK goes beyond daily programs. Every week, their message reaches viewers through a powerful TV broadcast, carrying on stations in the US, Canada, Europe, and various parts of the world. Through the airwaves, the seeds of faith are sown and lives are forever changed. Today, I invite you to be a part of this incredible movement to join hands with GCK and make a difference that will echo through eternity. Your partnership, your prayers, and your support will help spread the gospel to the ends of the earth. Together, we can bring light to the darkest places and offer hope to those who are lost. Visit our website today to find out how you can partner with GCK and be a part of this life transforming journey. Thank you for your heart, thank you for your passion, and thank you for joining us on this global crusade of love and redemption. Welcome to the weekly announcements. We have an exciting lineup of events and activities that will help nourish your faith, deepen your understanding of the Word of God, and strengthen your bond with the church community. First up, we have the Monday Bible Study. Every Monday at 6 p.m., we gather in every study location and online to delve into the depths of God's Word led by the esteemed pastor, Dr. W.F. Kumui. This study is designed to be systematic and expository, allowing us to explore the scriptures in a comprehensive and meaningful way. Next, we have our Sunday worship service. Each Sunday, we invite you to join us at 7.45 a.m. as we come together to worship God in spirit and in truth. Our vibrant congregation, filled with joyful praise and an heartfelt worship, creates an atmosphere where God's presence is tangibly felt. Come and experience the power of collective worship with us. 
On the Thursdays, we have a revival hour starting at 6 p.m. This service is specifically designed to revive and prepare our hearts and lives for our evangelistic mission. Through powerful sermons, inspiring testimonies, and passionate prayers, we seek a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit, empowering us to be effective witnesses for Christ. Calling all children, youth, and adults, we are excited to invite you to our Sunday evening house caring fellowship. This special gathering aims to foster the integration, care, and commissioning of our converts. It serves as the backbone of our growing church, providing a nurturing environment for everyone to grow in their faith and experience the love of Christ in a close-knit community. Additionally, we have the highly impactful GCK, Global Crusade with Kumoyi program. You can tell me you've not heard about it. The Impact Academy? This academy equips youth with the tools and knowledge to make a positive change in their lives and make a lasting impact for Christ in their communities. For our esteemed ministers, we have the upcoming Ministers and Professional Conference. This conference is a unique platform where ministers and professionals from different backgrounds and denominations come together to glean wisdom, share experiences, and receive fresh insights for their pastoral and leadership roles. Tune in to GCK Daily for daily devotionals and insightful messages from Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. Join the Youth Aflame community as they gather for engaging discussions, worship, and fellowship. Experience the power of transformation through our impact sessions designed to empower youth for a life of purpose and influence. Don't forget to check out TKC, The King Circle, a vibrant and interactive online community where you can connect with fellow believers, join engaging discussions and access valuable resources to strengthen your faith journey. Stay tuned to GCK TV and GCK Radio for uplifting sermons, worship sessions, and inspiring testimonies. For those with their hearts for global missions, we are thrilled to announce our Global Missions Immersion Program, GMIP. This program offers a life-changing opportunity to experience firsthand the transformative power of missions. As we reach out to those in need and spread the love of Christ to the nations. Lastly, for our young stars, we present stars standing tall as a star. This program is designed to empower our children and youth to shine brightly for Jesus, nurturing their gifts, talents, and character to impact their generation positively. In the spirit of the GCK second anniversary celebration, we have an amazing feature that will help you not only be a part of our service, but also celebrate together with others around the world as one family. During this service, we will highlight all that God is doing in our lives through photographs and encouraging social media posts. Go to your favorite social media platform and post a picture using the hashtag, hashtag GCK second anniversary, hashtag global crusade with Kumuyi. Upload a picture of what you would love to share and where you are watching from. For more information about this event and to stay connected with us, please visit our website at www.dclm.org. You can also follow us on social media for regular updates and inspiring content. Good day dear. A warm welcome to each one of you online with me. Today we mark a special milestone as we gather online to celebrate two years, the second year um, anniversary of the GCK, Global Crusade with Kumuyi. Uh, it's been a time of reflection, gratitude, and as well rejoicing for all the good things, the incredible things the Lord has done through this program. We invite you, therefore, to participate fully and engage in the interactive parts and segments of this program and join us in the heartfelt worship to the Almighty God. Get ready to witness the testimonies of what God has done in tremendous ways in different lives. Welcome to this momentous occasion and be blessed. Salvation is 
Then I start running. And I was running. I was running. I was running. In fact, I was happy. I was happy. Hallelujah. God is still in the business of healing. God is still doing his miracles. Check the dumb. Check the deaf. Check the blind. If you know that tonight, the heavens will open upon you. Miracles will come upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. I was sitting at the back, 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 back there. And I walked all by myself here. So I'm here to give glory to God in Jesus' name. good news of a wonderful miracle of healing from COVID-19 during the Abuja crusade when the man of God prayed. I almost died. I just thought it was malaria. I never knew it was COVID. Death took over me. I had to pray my last prayer. I was rushed to the isolation center because I was tested COVID and there many people had died. The first day I got there, three people died. And uh, in the midnight, another two people died. And I was saying, I have said my last prayer because people are dying too much there. The GS heard about it, and then he took the phone, and then he phoned me. When he phoned, my wife took the phone, and he prayed for me. And when he prayed for me, immediately I got healed. Immediately after the GS prayer, I wanted to go to the toilet, and I told my wife, and my wife said they should bring the wheelchair that they usually use to take me to the toilet. And I told her, did you know who has just prayed for me now? She said, yes, I think just this case. I'm not going to use the wheelchair anymore. The strength came and I jumped up immediately and I went to the toilet, came back. And all the people in the hall, they were very surprised because they have been carrying me to the toilet with the wheelchair since I arrived here. Now I am living, I am fine. No more COVID, and I'm rejoicing with my family. Do something new in their life. Give them the power of change, power of conviction, power of conversion. Pray this moment and say, Lord, we're asking for more transformation, more spiritual awakening. As we celebrate, it will happen. It will happen to you. It will happen to your, your children. It will happen to your family members. It will happen to all guests. It will happen to all ministers. More spiritual awakening, more genuine repentance, more genuine conversion. Lord, fulfill it even in our midst today. In Jesus' name, we pray. As we celebrate, we want to ask God. You see, the church of God needs to be powerful in prayer. We want to say, Lord, all over the land, the spirit of prayer and supplication. I believe in my heart that as we enter into this celebration, the power of darkness of spirit is gone in Jesus' name. Let's pray, Lord, pour the spirit of prayer again upon families, upon churches, upon nations. That there will be heart cry. The Bible says, and their heart cry. Lord, upon children, more, more, more power of prayer. Let God break the yoke of prayerlessness among his people. Let the spirit of prayer be released upon his people. That in all our closets, we will be seeking the face of God. We will be calling upon the name of God. We will be praising God in our secret places. This is what God has promised. He says in that these days, he's going to pour again the spirit of prayer and supplication upon the house of Jacob. Upon his people all over. As you are there, get ready. That power is coming upon you. Get ready. You will not remain the same again. Get ready. All darkness of spirit is gone. All weakness of spirit is gone. Let the power of the Lord descend in this celebration. God is doing it. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray. As we are celebrating, God will arise. 
The Bible says, let God arise, tell me, and let the enemy scatter. Amen. As we are celebrating, let me tell you something. God is going to destroy the power of backsliding. God is going to destroy the yoke of worldliness and carnality. Amen. You see, we, we are rejoicing in the presence of God. And God is looking at his children because God is looking for holy church, pure church. Church that is clean at heart. And that's why every trick of the devil to deceive us into worldliness, to deceive us into carnality, the Lord will rise against it. If you believe that, that's a amen. All over. Let's pray against the devil, against the power of darkness, fighting against the chore. Let's pull down the yoke of worldliness. Pull down the yoke of carnality. Break down the walls of backsliding in the churches, in the family. As we are celebrating, there will be full restoration. No more backsliding. No more backsliding. No more worldliness. Because that's the joy of the Lord. That is the joy of the Lord. That is the joy of the Lord. We are celebrating God's goodness. We are celebrating his healing power. We are celebrating his, his, his faithfulness. Dear, yeah, that means no more backsliding. No more worldliness, no more carnality, and then every pass of darkness, the Lord will silence them. The Lord will silence them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Psalm 147, verse 3. It says, He healed the broken in hearts and binded up their wounds. Amen. As we are celebrating, there will be a release of God's power. Those who are broken-hearted, healing for them. Those who are depressed, oppressed, obsessed, possessed, and suppressed, there's healing for them. Amen. That's why we're going to pray and say, God, as we celebrate your goodness, as we celebrate your mercy, oh Lord, as many that are depressed, as many that are obsessed, as many that are oppressed, Lord, deliver them. Bring healing to their soul. Bring healing to their body. Bring healing. God is doing it. Bring healing to their spirit. Because in this celebration, healing galore. Healing. He healed the broken hearted. 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 I see celebration of healing. Those who are depressed and then they are thinking of any suicidal attempt. God is bringing healing in this celebration. God is bringing healing. And those who are oppressed of the devil, there's healing today. There's healing today. And those who do not know, they are depressed within there, there's healing. Can you declare it? Say, Lord, I declare healing. I declare healing. I declare healing. Healing of the mind. Healing of the soul. Healing of the spirit. In our celebration today, in Jesus' name, we pray. We're going to pray as we celebrate Healing for broken homes. I see homes that the Lord is restoring. Broken homes receive restoration. Broken family receive restoration. It is the Lord that is doing it. Let's decree all families that are weighed down, that are broken. Can, you, can the church declare healing? Healing. Restoration of broken homes, broken families, children who are already outside. You two are already the outside because of broken home. The Lord is bringing them together. Don't you see the scripture we read? The Bible says, He gathered together the outcast of Israel. That is what the Lord is doing in our celebration. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. You are, your family is healed. Your family is delivered. Husband come back home. Wives come back home. Healing for families. Healing. Restoration of peace. Decree peace in every home. Unity in every home. Togetherness in every family. In all nations. And the Lord is doing it. In Jesus' name, we pray. A bigger amen. A celebration amen. I am so happy because you see answer. There's answers here. Before we continue in that prayer, I just want to say, God, thank you for answers to prayer. Because I know you are answering prayer. God is answering prayer. God is answering prayer. There's salvation galore. There's healing galore. There's miracle galore. There's deliverances. There's 
wonders of God being fulfilled today. God is a wonderful God in our celebration. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are going to pray that for God's servants, greater grace, greater spirit outpouring, greater power, greater strength, greater breakthrough, greater miracle signs and wonders, good heads, supernatural covering. Let's pray for the man of God. Lord, greater grace, greater power, greater strength, strength of God. Pray, good heads, bones and marrow, good heads in the spirit inner man, good heads. The Lord do it and he's doing it. The Lord will do it and he's doing it. Supernatural covering. Another strength coming upon him. And the Lord is doing it. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's pray for joy in every nation. Joy. Joy in every family. The Bible says, and there was great joy in the city. And there was great joy in the city. There will be joy today. There will be joy in your hearts. There will be joy in every family. There will be joy in all nations. There will be joy in every church. Joy everywhere. And lastly, let's pray for a new visitation. Lord, we want fresh visitation. A fresh visitation. Greater outpouring of God's Spirit upon us. The Lord will do it. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Almighty God, we praise you for who you are. The great God, the mighty God, excellent in glory, excellent in power, manifesting wonders, great benevolence, blessings upon your church, bountifulness. Lord, our hearts are full of gratitude, especially as you are gathering the outcasts of Israel. Especially as you are building up Jerusalem, you are building your church. Especially, you are bringing spiritual awakening, you are bringing revival again, you are bringing truth. Especially, how you are healing the brokenhearted, you are healing broken homes, you are building churches, you are raising generals for the kingdom of God. Great God, we praise your name. I will say, Be exalted in Jesus' name, Lord, as we celebrate, do more. Do more, do more, do more. Let there be great joy today. In every heart, in every family, in every church, in every nation, even right now, in Jesus' name. Increase the joy of your servants. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say it loud, amen. It's the third day of celebration. And right here at the GCK studio, we are so happy. We are happy that God has done so great things for us. And we are celebrating today the outreaches we've had, the international open doors we've had. And for us here, we are grateful to God. I want to ask my brother here, how do you feel about the open doors? Uh, recently, we got featured at the NRB convention, the biggest uh, conference for Christian communicators across the world right there in Florida, USA. How do you feel about that open door for the GCK? Wow, thank you, brother. I'm, I'm super grateful to God. I'm happy, elated, joyful that um, the word of God through our uh, pastor, the convener of GCK, is, glowing, is going globally. It's a great thing that at this time in his age, he's doing such massive exploit. Yeah, the convener is doing so much. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumu, we are so happy for the open doors we've seen. We've seen open doors right there at Ghana. We've seen open doors in a lot of states across Nigeria. And right there at the uh, Florida, USA, we've seen great open doors. What do you think we should be looking up to uh, for GCK 3.0 after for the next one year? Well, for me, you know, the word of God is limited. It's limitless, rather. Now, I, for me, I'm looking up onto God for massive gospel explosion. Number one, uh, conversion of souls. Number two, miracle. Number three, more strength, vitality, grace for our Father and the Lord. If you are there, thank you, thank you. If you are there and you've seen these things, these are what we're looking out for, for GCK 3.0.
Uh, for us right there on social media, uh, you are there in your church, you are there, you know, on Zoom, wherever you are watching this program. This program is followed by people in over 180 countries and viewers, millions of viewers across the world. You want to tell us how grateful you are for the GCK second anniversary. Go on our social media comments, or right there in your church, you can tell us how grateful are you for the GCK. If you're on social media, use hashtag GCK second anniversary and tell us the good things uh, God has done for you in these past two years. Right now, I will take you back to our alpha location uh, for the GCK second anniversary. This is GCK, the gospel to every creature. Bye for now.
his faithfulness as we now go into worship and praises. and the Lord is here with us. We have experienced great miracles. The sinners have been saved. Cancer has been crushed. The diseases have been destroyed. And because of Jesus, that is why we are celebrating. And you there, you online, my brethren online, and you there, I want you to worship the Lord this evening. And I know the Lord will bless you as you do so. Amen. You are the reason 
Why we are here, Jehovah. You are the Most High God. You are the reason why we are gathered, Jehovah.
of the Lord. What an amazing time we've had in the presence of God this past few days as we began the second year celebration of GCK. It's day three, my friends. Yesterday, we heard of amazing testimonies done by the power of Jesus Christ during the ministration of his servant, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi. And therefore, Lord, I present everyone before you Whatever infirmity, whatever disease, whatever ailment, touch them, heal them in Jesus' name. And yes, it's true, as it is written in Mark chapter 1, verse 27 and 28. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commandeth he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. GCK, the gospel to every creature. Hallelujah, it's day three. And what a day to celebrate this global outreach called GCK, Global Crusade with Kumuyi, leading the ministry to break new grounds across the globe. The GCK Daily, an online offshoot of GCK, touching lives across the globe through his servant, Dr. William Kumuyi. The GCK TV Virtual Missionaries Program and European outreaches, including the GCK radio and television outreaches across the world helping to reach the hitherto unreached. Even hospitals now install online gadgets for patients to connect. And guess what? Miracles everywhere, right on the hospital bed. Hospital patients are now connecting and packing their beds from the hospital and going back home glorifying God. What a great time to celebrate the goodness of God. Have you heard of the NRB? holding in the United States of America, where GCK had a booth for the first time with everyone wanting to know more about GCK. The story is the same everywhere, with everyone amazed at what God is doing through the global crusade with Kumuyi, two years and counting. And now it's day three of our celebration, another day to be amazed at the wonders of our God. Make today an amazing day for you and all the people around you, physical or online. It's your day, my friend. So once again, welcome to GCK, Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi as we celebrate two years of the GCK. Let's connect heaven for the amazing wonders of our amazing God. Hallelujah! Jesus Christ is Lord. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! This is great. This is the third day of celebration. Basically, we have every reason where we need to celebrate, and here at the Alpha location, we are really celebrating. And wherever you are, all over the world, globally, in every nation, every continent of the world, we are celebrating the goodness of the Lord for these two years. Can I hear a bigger amen? 
the reasons why we are celebrating because the Lord has restored hope to the hopeless, salvation to sinners, sound health to the sick heart, and to the sick heart. God has done great, great things. Can I hear a big amen? Globally, let us honor the Lord and exalt the name of the Lord for the great things the Lord has done for these two years. The Lord is good. Can I hear amen? amen? You will agree with me that there's no part of the world that the Lord did not do something. Every part of the world, in every nation, every state in Nigeria, every continent in the whole world, they have experienced tremendous, mighty, great revival, healing, restoration, and all and all. Can I hear amen? There's the mighty move of the power of God. This year, the Lord has used our Father in the Lord. He has done so many wonderful things. That's why we are celebrating. Shall we rise up on our feet, on our feet as we praise the name of the Lord? Rise up anywhere, everywhere, all the continent of the world, every state. Here at the Alpha location, we are really, really celebrating. As, let's close our eyes as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. You are a great God indeed. That's why we are celebrating. Great things you have done. Marvelous things you have done. Mighty things you have used our Father in the Lord. The convener of GCK, WF Komuyi. He has done great things. And so, Lord, we rejoice. We bless you. All praises, honor be given to you in Jesus' name. Many souls have been saved. Many have been delivered. Many have been set free. The captive has been made whole. All glory and honor and praises be given unto you in Jesus' name. And so, Lord, as we keep on celebrating, even today, more miracle. As we keep on celebrating, even today, more salvation to all mankind. Even today, there will be restoration. In every area of everyone who is in need, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know that even tonight, you will use our Father in the Lord so mightily. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. A bigger amen. All over the globe, a bigger amen. We here at the Alpha location at the capital city of Nigeria, Abuja. We are really celebrating. And I encourage you to join us in the celebration. We are going to pick up our program sheet and we shall be singing, If God Be For Us, page number three. Rejoice in the Lord, O let his mercy cheer. He sunders the band that entrail. Redeemed by his blood, why should we ever fear? Since Jesus is our all in all. Be strong in the law, rejoice in his mind. Be loyal and true day by day when evil are sell by violence for the right. And he will be our strength and strength. Confide in his word. His promises so sure in Christ they are yea and amen. Though earth pass away, they ever shall endure. It is written air and air again. Abide in the law, secure in his control. It is life everlasting begun. To pluck from his hands the weakest trembling soul. It sh never, never can be done. If God be for us, if God be for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Who can be against us? Who, who, who? Who can be against us?
So what we want to do now in this prayer is to first of all thank God for the great breakthrough that GCK had witnessed in many nations of the world, 180 of them. And thereafter, we are going to apply for more breakthrough because that's what is awaiting for, for us in the next level of GCK. God has promised to do unto us better than our beginnings, according to Ezekiel 36 verse 11. However, we need to thank him for what he has done in the beginning of GCK up to now. David said, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known the faithfulness to all generation. So we want to now begin to thank God and sing of the mercy of the Lord for GCK. Mercies of the Lord for our brethren. Mercies of the Lord for our ministers. Mercies of the Lord that we, we witness during these programs. For almost two years now, God has been faithful. Let's tell God that God, we are very grateful because we are faithful. God, we are very grateful because we are faithful. This is time for us to sing of the mercies of God that God has shown to GCK, not 180 countries of the world, nor the nook and corners of the world, in the continent and country of the world. Father, we thank you for your mercy because a man receives nothing except be given from above. Every perfect and every good gift come from the fathers of light, in whom there is no fairyness, no shadows of turning. Thank you for your faithfulness to GCK in all generations, because no race is left behind, no government is left behind, no gender is left behind, no generation is left behind. We thank you for what you did in the life of the children through GCK. We thank you for what you did in the life of, in the, life of the youth through GCK. Thank you for how you imparted the adult through GCK. God has been faithful to GCK. Therefore, we are also very grateful unto you, God. We appreciate you for what you have done. We thank you for two years of consistency of gospel penetration through the infrastructures of technology. We thank God for two years of confronting the gate of hell and setting the prisoner free. I've met people that are liberated, people that are saved, people that are comforted using this platform. We want to thank God for two years of confessions of sinner. We want to thank God for two years of complete gospel penetration onto the utmost part of the earth. I want to thank God for two years of cornerstone messages that built families and reconstructed home. Let's give God the glory because the light has, has come. The light has come through this GCK. The Bible said the people will sat in darkness. They saw great lights. So then we sat in the regions and shadow of death. Light is sprang unto them. Let's thank God because the, 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 through this GCK, the light has gone to many parts many countries, many countries, many continents, and so that the light that lighted the whole world has been shed abroad all over the world. I want to thank God for two years of confirmations of signs and wonder. Just like in the act of apostle, we have seen that God can do all things. There is nothing possible for him to do through this platform of GCK. I want to thank God for two years of consuming undiluted messages, conflicting undiluted messages, to the glory of God. If you appreciate him enough, then we can apply for more. We can apply for more. Now I want to pray now for more empowerment in the life of our teaching priest, in the life of our teaching prophets, 
in the life of the man of God, that his voice will begin to raise more dead in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for him more grace, more power. God, we thank you for what you are doing through him. We thank you what you are doing with him. But we want to pray because the Bible says, a man receives nothing except be given from above. That's why we are making demand on, on, on heaven that you receive, release more grace upon him. You release more power upon him. You release more anointing upon him because we are go going to the next level, a higher level, a greater level, a better level in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let's pray for our ICT brethren that God will give them more technological breakthrough. God will give them more inspiration to know what to do. They will do more because there are more land to be covered. There are more territory we need to penetrate. There are more you know, countries we still need to get to that God will give them idea. In the night, God will give them idea. In the day, God will give them idea, and they will know what to do. In the name of Jesus, let's request some more scientific tested testimonies. The Bible says in Acts chapter 4, verse 16, for that indeed, notable miracles have been done by them, and it's manifest to all of them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. We're asking for undeniable miracles. We're asking for notable miracles, miracles that can change the government, Miracle that will change the life of people. Miracle that will change the territory completely. That is the miracle we are asking for at this next level now. As we are marching out again, notable miracles, undeniable miracles, notable proof to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. That signs and wonder will be done through the name of the Holy Child Jesus. Stretching forth the hand to heal the sick. So more signs and wonder will be done through the ministers and through our choir, through, through the ministers through the men of God, that great thing will be done in the name of Jesus. We want to pray for our triumphant choir. The angel will begin to sing with them. They will receive more inspiration. Their song will confess sinners. They are not born to entertain people, but through their, their songs, people will be converted to the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, we want to pray that this GCK will touch the regions beyond. Regions beyond. The Bible says the land of Sabulon, and the land of Naphtalim, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of Gent Gentiles must see, they must see the light. They will have access to GCK. GCK will have access to them. Land of Sabulon, Sabulon we have not gotten to, we will reach them this time around. Naphtalim that we have not gotten to, we will get them this time around. Beyond the sea, beyond Jordan, we are going to get that this time around in the mighty name of Jesus. No region will remain untouchable. No region will remain unreachable to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God and give him all the glory. Because God has answered our prayer. God has done great things for us, and wherefore we are glad. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Finally, God, we are very grateful for your faithfulness to us in these two years of GCK. We want to thank God for the man of God, for the idea, for the innovation for all our ministers, for all our choir, for all the ICT, for all the brethren, people we have used in one way or the other to brought us to this stage. Now we want to change level, we want to go higher, we want to move higher, because you say we should come up higher, and this time around we want to go higher. That's why we come here to make a demand that anything you can do to move us higher, because you say you do unto us better than our beginning. You say we have never seen anything, now you will do unto us, oh God, better than our beginning, Jesus' name. Let everything be better. Let the choir be better. Messages, better messages in the name of Jesus. We thank you for all those messages, but you say there are better things that are coming. We, we are ready that you will have your way in our lives in Jesus' name. Then give us breakthrough beyond Jordan and on rich territory, people, places where we have not gotten to, we begin to get there in the name of Jesus. We begin to reach there in the name of Jesus. Now, now GCK will be connected to many regions, many people, and you will advertise this program by yourself in the name of Jesus. John was in the wilderness, and you brought people to come and meet him. Oh God, you that drove people to, come, to connect them to John, you begin to link them with GCK in the name of Jesus. Moreover, moreover oh God, we pray for our teaching priest, our teaching prophet, that you anoint him the more. You will use him more to the glory of your, of your name in Jesus' name. More glory, more power, more strength in the name of Jesus. Pray for all our brethren, Nobody will be weak. We are going to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Thank you, Lord, for the answers to our prayers. 
For in Jesus' name we pray. We now bring you choir ministrations from regions, states, and nations across the world.
of weary is your burden weighing heavy is it all too much to carry let me tell you about my jesus do you feel the tent of feeling cause shame's the lord is stealing are you desperate for some healing let me tell you about my jesus From broken dreams and wasted years Until the past to disappear Oh, let me tell you about my Jesus And all the wrong turns that you would Go and undo if you could We can work it all for your good Let me tell you about my Jesus He makes a way when 